Hi everyone, welcome to Corusas. Today we've got an issue with the R9, but it's got a happy ending. Okay everyone, welcome to this episode. Uh, we've got a problem with the R9 um, and the frame has been warranted. So uh, let's get into exactly why that is. Okay, so those who've been following the build series know that from the unboxing we had a few things wrong with it. Um, we had a damaged Drelia hanger, which is here. There it is damaged. Not a problem because Yolio sent me another one. Here it is, brand new one in its pack still. Um, we also had a damaged, or, uh, damaged bolt, sorry, here. Not a problem because Yolio sent me another one in its packet here. We also had, if I bring in the forks, we had this uh, piece missing from the forks. This is actually the threads for the through axle to go in. They were missing completely. Not a problem again because he earlier sent me two sets. There's a spare one and I put the other one in the fork. Um, also it was missing the uh, compression ring from the uh, for the headset or just above the uh, bearings so I can put the cables down through internally that was missing not a problem because they sent one we have Kara's house it's only on one side I did order it on both sides and that obviously can't be changed because it's been painted now I was going to make a, another video this week but, um, the frame's been warranted so I've deleted it what I found was the rear of the bike uh, down the back of these seat stays didn't have clear coat on um, so I actually painted it with clear coat myself uh, that was a bit of a nightmare having never sprayed a bike but I think the finish is pretty cool you know I got I got it sprayed up nicely but the thing that's stopping me from finishing the build at the moment is I've got something jammed there's something in this tube and I can't get I can't pass anything through it. It kind of like hit something. Um, it was kind of similar to the handlebars where we had the, the former stuck in the handlebars. If you've watched the episode, I had to push the former out, but I can't push it out of here. Um, let's see if we can hear it rattling. I can just about, well, you might not be able to hear that because the microphone isn't by the phone I'm recording on. It's actually, I'm speaking into it. But there's something in that um, that tube and I can't push it out. Um, so I'm going to have to get some something pretty hefty in there and try and ram it, ram a hole through it because it's blocking me from, from feeding anything in there at the moment. Uh, also, the um, hole for the DI2 was too small for me to get the connector through so I had to um, make that wider. Uh, the tops of these were covered over with something they had like a cap on them which I had to remove as well so I contacted Yolio I said to them look I'm a bit disappointed I've had all of these things wrong the handlebars the missing parts here uh, it's not painted with clear coat here there's only one of those you know I paid like I don't know how much it was, $300 for this paint. And uh, I'm a little bit disappointed. I just feel like sending it back and buying a different brand, to be honest. They were well helpful. They've basically said, keep the frame. We'll send you a new one free of charge. Pick the model you want and uh, we'll get it sent over to you when it's ready. Um, that includes the new handlebars as well, which are um, easier to thread. Just bring in those bars always in the middle of trying to thread it obviously um, this tube stopped me so um, until I can get pass something through there I can't really build it anymore I'll try again after this video and see if I can get a hole in there so I can feed the cable through but basically we were going to come see so I threaded one in the bar through here then we'll go into the charging port short length to the Bluetooth all the way down to junction and then that was going to be my derailleur cable 
this one and then I've got obviously room for battery and front derailleur on there but um, that's just a quick update I can't go any further at the moment because of the blockage in that tube as I said Yoli have been brilliant they've warranted for the frame I get another one for free and some new handlebars because of the problems I've had with those so um, thumbs up to Yolio, great customer service, fantastic. And I look forward to um, getting that new frame, but I'm gonna carry on with this build. So keep your eyes peeled, as it were, for the next part, and we'll see you on the next Kairos House. If you like the channel, give me a thumbs up, subscribe please, and chuck us a like, and we'll see you next time. Take care, bye.